So now that we know how to synthesize alcohol molecules by combining carbonyl and organometallic reagents, let's take a look at the following example in which we're going to discuss how to form the following three alcohol products. So we have a primary, a secondary, and a tertiary, and let's begin with our primary. So basically, we have this entire group here coming from our carbonyl, and this section basically comes from our organometallic reagent reaction. So first, we want to synthesize our organometallic reagent that will attack the carbonyl that will form this alcohol here. So let's begin with the first product, and let's begin with the first step, let's call this step A. So in the first step, we have the following molecule that contains some type of halide, let's say chlorine. So we have chlorine that is attached to this ethyl group that contains two carbons because this one contains two carbons as well. So in the first step, we basically mix this with, let's say, lithium in the presence of ether and we form our organometallic reagent known as organolithium reagent. So basically we form the following molecule. Now in the second step, we basically take our aldehyde, well not aldehyde, we actually take our formaldehyde. So we take our carbonyl molecule and the way that we tell whether it's an aldehyde, formaldehyde or ketone is we see how many carbons this or how many H atoms this carbon is attached to. We have one, two H's, so that means we're going to have an al a formaldehyde. So we have our two H's attached to our carbon, we have our carbonyl, our formaldehyde, and we react this in the first step with our molecule here, the organometallic reagent. So we reacted with this guy in the presence of ether, and we basically form this molecule here. We have our two H's here, we have our uh, oxygen here that contains a negative charge and we also have these molecules here. So we have the carbon and the carbon. Now this is our alkoxide so this will have a negative charge. So we have a negative charge here and in the next step we basically add a water molecule and when we add the water molecule that water basically protonates this oxygen and we form the following compound. So basically exactly what we wanted to form in the first place. So this is our product that we wanted to form in the first step. We have one, two, three carbons. So one, two, three carbons and the OH is attached to this carbon. So what about number two, product number two, which is our secondary molecule, secondary alcohol. So basically the steps are very similar, except in this case, we don't want to use our formaldehyde. We actually want to use our aldehyde because this carbon is attached to only one H atom. So once again, this is our uh, section that comes from the organolithium reagent and this is our section that comes from our carbonyl group. So in step A of product number two, the way that we form this is our first step involves the formation of this organolithium reagent. So we can either use magnesium or lithium. I like to use lithium, so let's use lithium. So once again, we basically repeat this step. We bring in our lithium in the presence of ether. We form a resonance stabilized molecule. We have this, and of course it's resonance stabilized. In this case, we didn't show it, but let's show it here. So we have our two electrons that end up here. The lithium is by itself. So we have a positive charge on the lithium here, and we have a negative charge on this ethyl molecule here, or it's not negative charge here. So now that we form our organolithium reagent, we can react it in step two with our aldehyde. So once again, not formaldehyde, aldehyde, because we have a, a methyl group attached to this carbon and one H group. So let's draw our, formald our aldehyde. So we have our H and CH3. So basically now we reacted with our molecule from this case, basically our um, 
this one here. So we have lithium in the presence of ether and we basically form this product here. So we have Now one of these is an H, the other one is a methyl and of course we have this group here. And in the next separate step we mix in water to basically protonate this and we form the following molecule. So it looks like this and of course this is exactly what we wanted to form in the first place. It looks like this. So equivalently we can draw this in the following fashion. So um, we have our OH here, we have one, two carbons here, one, two carbons here. We have our carbon attached to our OH and this group as well here. And that is exactly what we wanted to form in this case. So finally, let's move on to product number three. We have our tertiary uh, alcohol. Now, once again, the steps are exactly the same, so we're not going to look at the first step. The important difference is in step number two, when we add our carbonyl. So basically, we follow the same exact steps as in, step, as in um, number one, number two, except in number three, we switch this aldehyde with our ketone because this carbon is only attached to our methyl groups and not attached to any H's. So that means when we add in our carbonyl to form this product, we have to add a ketone. So step one, we take this molecule, mix it in with lithium in the presence of ether to form this organolithium reagent. And the next step, we take the organolithium reagent and mix it in with ketone to form our intermediate alkoxide. And then we add in water in the third step to basically protonate the oxygen on the alkoxide to form our tertiary alcohol as shown in product number three.